Man, I'm afraid yeah, this trip's gonna ruin go. Malibu for me. I, I yeah. hope not. It shouldn't. There's a small sharks. Yeah. Yeah. But okay. they've been living there forever, you, you know? It. Yeah. This is a difficult task to accomplish. It's it's not so much about managing giant things because you know they're there, it's about trying to find them. Yeah, yeah I mean the nice thing about Guadalupe is after spending ten years there, you know, I know exactly when they're gonna be there and I can tell you the names of them when we find them, but this is a whole new ball game. Yeah, they're not, it's not an aggregation, I and mean, they're spread out, so uh, we have a lot of work, a lot more work finding the fish, and probably less work getting them on board and dealing with yeah, them. I mean, they're gonna be small. Oh, it's yeah. amazing to yeah. me, though, how quickly an eight to 10 foot shark became a small fish. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> well, you remember Garmin. Uh, 10 footer. Ten, in fact, it looked puny, you know, yeah. when you're looking at all these 17, 18 yeah. foot sharks, and then we Garmin comes by and we hook him. I'm like, oh my god, that I, that was the smallest shark I'd ever seen in Guadalupe. Yeah. You know, we don't know. I mean, I've come to learn that they aggregate at these places like Guadalupe Island and the Farallon Islands, and but they're all adults. There's a few um, sub adults, but how in the heck do these juvenile sharks that they're born off the coast of California, Baja California, and then they spend the first year, years of their life along the coast? But all of a sudden, one day, they go, hey, I have to go to an aggregation site. Yeah. How do they know to do that? When do they do that? How big are they when they do that? So that's why if we can catch one that is just getting to that phase and put a tag on it that will last a few years, we could get its first journey to one of these aggregation sites, and that would be awesome. You know, we'd learn a lot from that. Groundbreaking stuff. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. It's, uh, it's going to be difficult uh, because we're not just going straight to where we know there's sharks. Um, that we've already figured out how to catch. These ones are going to be smaller sharks. We're going to have to be put on them by a pilot, most likely. And then we still have to get a, a bait in front of them and, and get them to eat, and then catch them, and then uh, subdue a, a smaller, wiggly shark. So, pretty big task, but I, I have high hopes.